what drove me into this is I was a football coach for 25 years and when I decided to leave the football field and go to the office, um, I needed something to occupy my, my time, my, my, my brain, my mind, and something that was challenging and problem solving and I always wanted to make knives so it just fit perfectly and, and uh, I, I jumped into it that way about, about five years ago. I love the, the, the aspect of a knife, I mean just the, the use of it, uh, its durability and so I've always wanted just to make one, just see if I could do that and so uh, my first one several years ago was not very good and uh, I still have it to remind me of where I, where I was to where I want to be and uh, you know I just enjoy that that sharp edge and, and a useful tool. Because it has to occur in stages, there's, I, I do two different processes. I do stock removal and forging, and they're both, uh, they're both different from one another, and the time frame is different. Um, there's, uh, uh, the, the annealing process for stock removal is several hours, 12 hours overnight. Um, the forging process is, is much shorter than that, a few hours but both require tempering uh, once the blade is ready, uh, once the blade has been heat treated. And so that tempering process is around three hours. And so, um, you know, we're looking at anywhere from uh, probably six to, you know, a day, 24 hours, you know, for a night, depending on which process I go. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's anywhere in that, that time frame. I've made a lot of knives for people I do know, and then I've making several knives for people I do not know and they I've got social media so they get a hold of me through that and uh, uh, they tell me what they want and uh, I have them look at my pictures and say you know I can do these things and um, then they order and I, I get started on it so there's there's a lot of us around that do knives so you know you'd have to if you just want one from Dare Hummingbird in Quito, Oklahoma you'd have to probably have some sort of history you know or know you know who I am or know people that know me but you know just the being able to concentrate on uh, a process of working with that knife and whatever I'm doing, whatever stage I'm on, be able to just kind of zone everything out for a while and just concentrate on uh, getting that knife um, ready and getting to, through that stage. Um, sometimes there's some problem solving with um, how to create the geometry on the edge or um, you know what uh, style that I'm working with. Uh, the wood pattern or the type of wood I'm working with. So it really just occupies my time and really gets me away from that stress uh, that, you know, sometimes the, the regular job brings. <laughs> you know, I grew up, um, I grew up watching my, my, my Cherokee elders make stuff and, uh, and making things that were necessary for their daily lives uh, or things that were for decoration or gifts. Um, I mean, quilts. Well, that's one of my fondest memories of me going to Antioch Baptist Church when I was just a little bitty in the in the the, the late 60s and 70s and uh, crawling around underneath that quilting frame while uh, my grandmother and my aunt you know and her friends they they worked on patching that quilt together and I remember those days um, still vividly doing that and then me and my cousins you know being there and playing and being outside playing around the church while they were in there quilting so it's just a, it's a tradition with our tribe is to be creative so uh, it's been passed on to me. You know, I, I think it's important for people in general to find something that um, allows them to be creative and to pour into uh, their life experiences into something like a hobby or something that where they can make something. It could be anything. I mean, it could be f food to utensils like what I'm doing. I mean, anything, woodworking, furniture. I mean, I know so many people that dabble uh, in those things because it's, it's important as human beings for us to be creative and uh, this is a great, for me it's a great way to, to, to fulfill that urge to be creative is to pour it into knife making.